What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm excited because today I'm gonna to be installing this Daler valve controller remote, which I'm pretty excited for. Um, I got my reasoning why, stay tuned. Let's go to the video. dealer valve controller um, comes with all the parts needed um, right here um, I got some bolts because I may take off the body pin not sure yet um, just to hide the wires right here um, I got some some velcro some scotch uh, double-sided tape and some zip ties because I didn't want it to look neat in the bottom I don't want none of these cables to be flying out so why a valve controller BMW has a valve actuator already well bmw um developed at least in the g80s um i think also the f30s i'm not sure you have to verify that but at least for the g80s it's loud but not loud enough and i've seen videos especially on keys motorsports i mean look at this video all right so as you can see it's got nice tone and all but it's way too quiet now, when Zach puts it in M mode, it's supposed to open the valves. But what we found is that it doesn't fully open the valve. So listen to this while we have another picture on the screen that actually shows what the valves are doing. Now, while that sounded amazing, the valves aren't completely open for whatever reason. However, with Daler, you can hack the system to force them wide open to make it sound like this. Crazy. Yeah, the valves don't open all the way. Is it like a manufacturer's policy to not open valves all the way for the sound? I mean, I don't know. I live in California and honestly, laws are getting a little stricter over here with sound and how loud your car is. So I appreciate the valve actuator but I don't appreciate not opening the valves all the way. I feel like we're being sold a little short with what we're promised. I mean, yeah, you're giving me the sound, but it's not fully opened. And it would take someone to do, you know, what Keys Motorsports did and put a camera on the valves and just kind of see what's going on in there to see how actually they open. And that's why, you know, they developed this thing right here, the, the valve remote control for that reasoning. So. It should be a very, very simple install. Um, at the most, it's just about hiding the wires properly, uh, making it neat. It's just a plug and play, that's all it is. So I'm gonna roll the car into the garage and um, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Before operating a car, just make sure the exhaust is not hot. So I had to wait a couple minutes for it to cool off. Um, in fact, I hope it's still, yeah, it's not, it's not hot anymore. So just make sure you're not gonna burn yourself down here because it is a tight space. I'm gonna jack up the car, just give myself more space. So let's get to do that. All right guys, so as you see here, you have two actuators. You have one right here and you have one over there. Um, so this Dela remote has two entry points, uh, one for each side. So what we're gonna do is basically plug one of these in um, to the connector, the wire, um, and then on the other one, it's gonna go inside the actuator. That's all you have to do. It's basically plug and play. You're just connecting from the current wire and the other one goes to the actuator and do that on the other side, mount it, call it a day. Okay, so we got the cables run already. I have dealers plugged in to the factory OEM cable and then one to the actuator same thing on the other side now i have this cabling now what i did is i shoved some cabling inside this pan which you'll find a little port on this side over here you can just sneak it into this hole it'll come out to this hole and then you can feed it to the other end that way nothing is here so what i'm gonna do is cable up everything real nice and tight and then uh we should be pretty much good to go well there you have it guys so i velcroed um the um the actual Daler valve controller in here. There's like this little pocket area right here next to the tire. So it's sitting right here with vehicle tape around it. And then on this side, I actually found a mounting point right here. Uh, there's a Velcro line. Um, I don't know if you see it, but there was a little hanger 
with the circle on it. So I actually stuck a um, zip tie to it. So this thing is sitting in pretty snug. It's not gonna rattle on anything too loud. Um, but yeah, all the cables are nicely tucked away. So I think all what's next to do is just uh, take this out for a spin. So let's give it a try. So it's really hard for me to record an actual audio clip, but I will say that it added a lot more deepness to the valves now that the actuator opens all the way. Um, more humming at idle, not like obnoxious humming, but just more humming. I can feel the presence of the exhaust a little bit more, and it throws a little bit of burbles here and there. Not like pops or bangs, but definitely more burbles. Now I'm thinking that BMW, uh, triggered their actuator to flap halfway and close, halfway and close in sport mode. Um, sorry, I have to shift. Because of the burbles, to eliminate the sound of burbles. And I'm assuming people might have complained that having burbles is a bad thing, but I love it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. You guys hear it? You go to first. A little too much. definitely burbles a lot more and I'm enjoying it so worth the install I think so if you want a valve controller definitely do it because honestly guys with nowadays with California being really strict with their um, exhaust regulations and all that and sound control it's always best to have a remote on trigger just in case you just never know if you see a cop you just turn it off very simple um, anywho yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell if you like this video, and um, yeah, I'll catch you soon.